dear students a uh, good morning to everyone uh, today i am going to present a lecture on the topic plant uh, nature and architecture of plant viruses generally people ask question what is a virus literally virus means any slimy liquid or poison or venom or infectious matter the this term was used for a wide variety of infectious agents including bacteria since about 1890 according to byring uh, 1898 he was the first person to use the term virus for the tobacco mosaic agent to distinguish it from the bacteria when these agents are found to pass through bacteria through chamberlain filters then these agents were termed as filtrable virus and excluded from the group in 20th century this term the virus was used to used for a distinct group of filtrable obligately parasitic and sub microscopic and invisible infectious agents many definitions have been given by different renowned plant virologist according to loria and 1953 defined plant viruses as a sub microscopic entities capable of being introduced into a specific living cells and reproducing inside such cells that is entities have the capacity to introduce into the living cells and reproduce inside the living cells only later luria in 1959 defined viruses as elements of genetic material that can determine in the cell where they reproduce the biosynthesis of a, a specific apparatus for their own transfer into other cells according to fc board in 1964 defined plant viruses as sub microscopic infective entities that multiply only intracellularly and they are potentially pathogenic according to lof and turnier in 1966 defined plant viruses is a disease causing agent with five characteristic namely viruses possess only one type of nucleic acid known as ribonucleic acid or deoxyribo uh, deoxyribonucleic acid they produce from their sole nucleic acid they could not grow and were unable to divide by binary fission they did not contain any system to generate high potential energy and they used ribosome of the host to carry on the reproduction gibbs and harrison in 1976 defined plant viruses as transmissible parasites whose nucleic acid genome is less than 3 into 3 into 10 to the power minus 8 dalton in the weight and that need ribosome and other components of the host cell for its multiplication subsequently let loria et al in 1978 defined viruses as entities whose genomes are elements of nucleic acid that replicates inside cells using cellular synthetic machinery that is host ribosomes and causing synthesis of specialized elements and that can transfer the viral genome to other cells According to matthew he had defined plant virus in 1981 as a set of one or more nucleic acid template template means image molecules normally encased in a protective coat or coats of protein or lipoprotein lipoprotein is lipid and protein which is able to organize its own replication only within suitable host cells where its production is dependent on host protein ribosomes organized from pools of required materials rather than binary fission and located at sites which are not separated from the host cells contained by lipoprotein by layer membrane l boss in 1983 defined virus as an infectious agent often causing disease invisible with the high light microscope that means sub microscopic 
small enough to pass through a bacterial filter, lacking a metabolism of its own and depending on a living host cells for multiplication. Diffie Tripathi in the year 2004 defined plant viruses as a viruses are supermolecular complexes outside the host cells and behave as living organisms in appropriate host cells where they replicate and cause disease of different symptoms. They consist of a nucleic acid core that is DNA or RNA surrounded by a protein capsid or in some cases a membranous characteristic properties of plant virus. What are the characteristic features of plant viruses? The viruses are not cells nor do they consist of cells. They are ultra microscopic and can only be viewed with the electron microscope. The viruses contain only one type of nucleic acid, either RNA or DNA, but never both. In most plant viruses, there is only one kind of protein. However, some viruses may have two or more different proteins. Nucleic acid carries the genome of the virus, which differs from one virus to another. Viruses are strictly intracellular and potentially pathogenic entities. And all viruses are obligate parasite. Obligate parasite means the organism which uh, requires the living host cells for its multiplication. A virus is not alive until it enters the cells of the living plant or when the seed is infected in the gametic cells. They induce plant diseases not by destroying the structural integrity of the host tissues or not by killing them with the enzymes or toxins or not by consuming the hostess, but by altering the metabolism. The altered host metabolism leads to the development of the abnormal substances and conditions which are injurious to the cells. They have no metabolic activities of their own and they utilize the metabolism of host cells. They do not re respire, do not grow, but they multiply by using host cells to produce more viruses. They do not divide and do not produce any kind of a specialized reproductive structure such as spores. Viruses make use of the ribosomes of their host cells. The most fundamental property of plant virus is its transmissibility. There are several methods of transmission and natural spread of the plant viruses. All plant viruses possess both types of living and non-living characters of viruses. These are some uh, living characters of the plant viruses. Viruses multiply within the host cells and give rise to the same genetic types. They undergo mutation like living organism and reproduce. Viruses show a specific intracellular parasitism, sensitivity to chemicals, heat, ultraviolet rays, etc., and contain genetic materials. Genetic materials means RNA or DNA. Viruses can easily be transmitted from the host to host. This is the characteristic feature of the living organism. Viruses can be reconstituted with the help of their already separated components, and the reconstituted virus may undergo enzymatic changes in vitro. Non-living characters of the viruses the virus do not have cytoplasm, nucleus, membrane, ribosomes, enzymes, etc. Viruses lack the ability to grow, but they multiply. These are the non-living characters. They do not have any energy producing system of their own. They can be crystallized, precipitated and remain inert chemicals outside the host cells. They do not excrete, they respond to external stimuli such as temperature, chemical, etc. From these living and non-living characters, the opinion is that the virus is unique entity which is either living or non-living but a macromolecule in the threshold of, threshold of the life. Nature of plant viruses Different theories have been proposed from time to time. 
to understand the nature of plant viruses. First theory is the bacterial theory. In 1896, Adolf Adolf Meyer, a cursorist chemist, he was working at the Hoisin engine in Holland, was investigating a mosaic disease of tobacco whose cause was unknown. He found that disease could be transmitted to healthy tobacco plants by inoculation of extracts from infected plants. Then he established the infectious nature of the disease and concluded that tobacco mosaic disease was caused by a bacterium. Ivanovsky in 1892 confirmed the Myers experiment that the mosaic disease could be sap transmitted and showed that sap was still infectious after it has been, it has been passed through a bacteria proof chamberlain filter. Then he concluded from his experiment the tobacco mosaic disease was caused by a smaller bacterium that passed through the filter or a toxin secreted by bacterium. And this experiment provided the first indication of existence of virus. Second theory was contagium by fluidum theory. This theory was proposed by Martinus William Byring. He was a Dutchman. This theory was proposed in the year 1898. Byring confirmed the Myers and Ivanovsky's findings that the tobacco mosaic disease agent passed through a porcelain filter. Then he concluded that causal agent was not a bacterium but caused by a contagium biobum fluidum that is contagious poisonous fluid that was different from the bacteria. So Byring is considered to be the real father of virology. And third theory was the chemical theory. Vincent and Peter in 1929 obtained active solutions containing crystals by precipitations with lead acetate and further treatment with acetone. Wendell Meredith Stanley in 1935, he was working uh, in the University of California, USA. He proved tobacco mosaic disease agent is a crystalline autocatalytic protein which required the presence of living host for its multiplication. He treated the sap from diseased leaves of tobacco with ammonium sulphate and obtained a crystalline protein which when pro uh, placed on healthy tobacco leaves could produce, reproduce the disease. He finally proved that the viruses are not living organisms because no living form can be chemically treated and crystallized and still remain alive, uh, viable. So, Stanley concluded that tobacco mosaic disease agent may be considered as an autocatalytic protein that may be assumed to require the presence of a living host for its multiplication. This chemical theory launched the era of chemical virology. Nucleus, nucleoprotein nature, Borden and Perry in 1936 also isolated tobacco mosaic virus and established that it was a nucleoprotein. Nucleoprotein means nucleic acid and protein. Plant viruses are considered to consist of an outer sheath of protein contain nucleic acid inside. Infectivity of nucleic acid. Gerer and Sram from Germany 1956 and Frankel Conrad 1956 from USA they separately but simultaneously conducted fractionation and reconstitution experiment. They isolated protein and nucleic acid components of tobacco mosaic virus. Greer and Sram used phenol for degrading the protein coat, while Frankel Conrad used the detergent sodium dodecyl sulfate. They tested the infectivity of both the components separately and they found that it was only the nucleic acid component that was infective. Then they concluded that the infectivity of virus particle is due to nucleic acid component. That coat protein played only a protective role. Satellitism, the phenomenon or situation in which one virus lacks the power of multiplication without the presence of second virus or helper virus is known as satellitism. And this phenomenon of satellitism was first discovered or described 
in tobacco necrosis virus and shuttle virus by Kasanis in 1962. Shuttler virus is also found associated with tobacco necrosis virus. Shuttler virus can be multiplied only in the presence of tobacco necrosis virus, but tobacco necrosis virus multiplies alone. This indicated that part of genetic information was contained in the nucleic acid of the activator virus, that is tobacco necrosis virus. Both the viruses are present within the, uh, with the infected tobacco roots. Both the viruses are transmitted between roots by the juice for a species of the fungus Olfidium varasiki. Discovery of double standard RNA virus. Miura Kimura Suzuki in 1966 reported that rice dwarf virus contains double standard RNA as a genetic material. Subsequently, wound tumor virus was also found to contain its RNA, a double stranded RNA. This double stranded RNA is also called diplo RNA virus. Diplo means double. Double stranded RNA, which could include all double stranded RNA viruses that commonly possess double stranded RNA dependent polymerase function that remain within the virion itself. DNA viruses, Sevat. Sephard et al. in 1968 for the first time reported the existence of plant viruses containing DNA as the genetic material. As for example, cauliflower mosaic virus, later on dahlia mosaic virus and few other viruses were found to contain DNA instead of RNA virus. Viroids or sub-viral agents, Dinner and Remer in 1967 and dinner 1971, while working with the potato uh, spindle tuber disease, observed that the causal agent sedimented at a much lower speed and that was a without protein coat, that is naked RNA virus. This term was proposed, that the, they proposed the term viroid to denote this a viral agent of potato spindle tuber disease. Morphology of plant viruses has been studied through the uh, X-ray crystallography and electron microscopy. X-ray crystallography is a technique or tool to determine the arrangement of three-dimensional structure of molecules, including complex biological macromolecules such as protein and nucleic acid. And this technique was discovered by William Ranjan in 1895. Electron micros microscopy is a technique for obtaining high resolution images of biological and non biological specimen. This was used to, this technique was used to investigate the detailed structure of tissues, cells, organelles, and macromolecular structures. There are two types of transmission, uh, there are two types of electron microscope. Uh, first one is transmission electron microscopy, scanning electron microscopy. In isolation, tobacco mosaic virus shows an isotrophy follow, giving an indication that particles were road set. Therefore, even before the technique, X-ray crystallography and electron micro microscopy were available, the shape of tobacco mosaic virus particles were known. Virus particles are submicroscopic and can be observed only with the help of electron microscope. It gives that, is, that means electron microscope gives a magnification of, of 1.52 to lakh times. Virus particles have different shapes, life, uh, like elongated. Elongated include rigid rod shaped, plexus rod shaped, vesili or bullet shaped. Under rigid rod shaped particles, as for example tobacco mosaic virus, tobacco rattle virus, Tobacco rattle virus uh, consists of two types. One is larger rod and other is shorter. Both types of particles are required for multiplication. Flexuous rod shaped, as for example, citrus testiza virus, sugar wheat alloys virus, potato virus X, potato virus Y. These are the flexuous rod shaped virus particles. Vesili or bullet shaped. As for example, potato yellow door virus, lettuce necrosis yellow virus, alpha alpha mosaic virus, when both ends are rounded, 
then it is called vesiliform. When one end and one end is rounded, in other end is flat, then it is called bullet shaped. In electron micrographs, both the types of particles, that is vesiliform and bullet shaped, have been observed. Vesiliform is considered to be the shape of mature baryon. Mature baryon. Mature baryon means complete virus particle. Rice transitory is allowing virus. The particles of the bullet safe only. This, vir this, vi uh, this virus ha uh, has particles of bullet safe only. Alpha alpha mojave virus are, has a range of different shape from bacilli to bacilli form to spherical. And th a second type of plant virus safe is aspherical or is isometric or icosahedral, etc. Isometric or polyhedral depending on the number of edges and faces on the surfaces, as for example, satellite viruses, cucumber mosaic virus, potato leaf roll virus, wound tumor virus, geminate virus, this is also called gemini virus, that means it consists of twin particles. One, one particle is slightly larger than the other, here you can see, examples of geminate viruses uh, are majestic virus. African cassava mosaic virus, tobacco leaf curl virus. Some plant viruses have envelope particles. That is, they regain additional membrane over this coat cell uh, consisting of the lipid. The uh, example uh, is tomato spotted wilt virus. This uh, virus comes under the family Bunyaviridae. In the genus is Tospovirus and type memory tobacco. Tomato is spotted with the virus. It consists of uh, particle is single as nucleic acid is a single extended RNA virus. It is transmitted through the thrips, Franklin Nella occidentalis and Franklin Nella surgei. Some plant viruses have particle with a spike or tail of glycoprotein or glycolipid. As for example, Rhabdovirus. It comes under the family Rhabdoviridae. In the group is Cytorhabdovirus. Type memory is Lettuce Necrosis Eloge virus. It consists of single standard RNA virus. It is transmitted. The virus is transmitted in circulative, propagative manner with the leaf hoppers, plant hoppers, and aphids. Size of the plant viruses. Citrus Cystia virus consists of the largest known plant virus particles. And, and the virus particles is long flexuous rod shaped and it measures 2000 nanometer in length into 10 nanometer in breadth. This is the largest known plant virus so far. The second largest virus particle is sugar beet yellow virus. It is also flexuous rod shaped and it measures 1250 nanometer in length and 13.3 nanometer in breadth. Tobacco mosaic virus is a rigid, short, a rigid rod shaped virus particles. It measures 300 nanometer in length and 15 nanometer in breadth. Satellite virus is the smallest non plant virus. It is isometric or spher spherical in shape and it measures 17 nm in diameter. What is a satellite virus? Satellite viruses are those viruses which must always be associated with certain typical viruses. That is, it is called alpha viruses because they depend on alpha viruses for multiplication and plant infection. Satellite viruses often reduce the ability of the alpha virus to multiply and cause disease. Satellite viruses are the smallest non plant viruses having a particle diameter of about 17 nanometer and satellite RNA. What is the satellite RNA? Satellite RNAs are a small linear or circular RNAs found inside the virions of certain multi component virus. Other spherical, uh, these are the examples of other spherical viruses such as cucumber mosaic virus uh, having 30 nm, nine, uh, nm diameter, potato leaf roll viruses. Uh, having 
uh, 24 nm diameter and wound tumor virus having 60 nm diameter composition of plant viruses virus is nucleic protein nucleic protein means nucleic acid in protein a protein makes up 60 to 95 percent the protective coat of protein is called capsid and identical protein sub units are called capsomere the cap capsid together with the nucleic acid are called nucleic capsid nucleic acid makes of 5 to 40 percent of the virus nucleic acid may be rna or dna dna may be single strand rna double strand rna positive strand rna negative strand rna and dna may be single stranded or double stranded dna the lower nucleic acid percentage are found in the elongated viruses where is the high percentage of nucleic acid are found in the spherical viruses composition and structure of viral protein like all protein viral proteins are composed uh, made up of different 20 type of uh, amino acids except proline they have a general formula these are the general formula of the uh, protein one carboxyl group one amino group and a side chain are is attached to the alpha carbon the side chains are generally carbon chains or rings to which various functioning groups may be attached the sequence of amino acids within the protein determines the nature of the protein that means the pro- nature of the protein is determined uh, with uh, within the protein on the basis of sequence of amino acids the protein cells of plant viruses are composed of repeating sub units amino acids contained in sequence for identical protein sub units of a given virus are constant but vary for different viruses and even for different strains of the same virus the component and sequences of amino acids are known for the proteins of many viruses protein of tobacco mosaic virus consists of 158 amino acids in a constant sequence and it also uh, consist of 2130 protein sub units and each sub unit protein sub unit has a mass of mass of each protein sub units is 17600 dalton in tobacco mosaic virus protein sub units are arranged in a helix containing 16 is 2 on y 3 sub units per turn that means 49 sub units for three turns these are the structure of tobacco mosaic virus composition and structure of viral nucleic acid most plant virus possess rna and dna plant virus virus particle con- uh, consist of infectious nucleic acid that is called genome the genome is encapsulated with the protective protein coat or cell that is called capsid both rna and dna are long chain like molecules containing hundreds or thousands of units called nucle- nucleotides nucleotides nucleotide is composed of nitrogenous base five carbon sugar that is ribose in rna and deoxyribose in dna and phosphate group nucleoside consists of nitrogenous base and sugar sugar of one nucleotide reacts with the phosphate of another nucleotide and this is repeated many times and thus forming the rna or dna strand in viral rna only one of the four bases that is adenine guanine and cytosine and uracil may be attached to each ribose molecule the size of the both rna and dna is expressed in either in dalton or is number of bases kilo bases for single strand rna and double strand single stranded dna or kilo bases pairs for double stranded rna and double stranded dna the sequence and frequency of the bases on the rna strand vary 
from one RNN to another, but they are fixed within a given RNN and determines its properties. Healthy cells of plants always contain double stranded DNA and single stranded RNA. Most plant viruses, about 540 plant viruses, contain single stranded RNA, but 40 contain double stranded RNA, and 30 plant viruses contain double stranded DNA, and about 50 plant viruses contain single stranded DNA. Thank you.